Hello, my dear lovely students. Once again, a very warm welcome to the series of NEET Selection Express. Yes, we are running, and because our NEET is round the corner, we are appearing for our NEET examination. And guys, again, this is your Chavi Ma'am, and uh, now this is lecture number two. And today we will be discussing about the cockroach. Cockroach, yes, questions, the probable questions, the PYQs also. We will be discussing today. So hope the uh, homework which I have given in the previous session. Hope you have done that. I told you to go through the NCERT of this chapter. If you have gone through, that's well and good. If you haven't, then I guess you should go for it. Or maybe after this session, you have to go for it because many concepts I have tried to cover up. I have tried to taken out the topics from each and every uh, chapter, each and every topic, so that uh, uh, I'll be able to uh, give you an overview of the whole chapter. So if you haven't gone through the chapter, go through after this session. If you have gone through it, that's very well done. So this is a lecture number two. Okay, now a uh, cockroach. So today's target, guys, we have is a cockroach. Co cockroach is today's target. We are going to be a hit spray today. We'll be going to the internal structure as well as the external morphology of the uh, cockroach. So in the cockroach, if I say the cockroach, cockroach, we have two different subtopics. The first one is a morphology. That is, how does a cockroach look like the external structure, how their body is divisible into. Externally, how does it look like? We have discussed, we, uh, uh, you haven't gone through the series, okay. Uh, but the morphology. Second one is the anatomy. That is the internal structure. In the anatomy part, the most important, the very important part is the digestive system. From the digestive system itself, last time the two questions directly came. So digestive system is there. The circulatory system, they have an open circulatory system. They have 13 chambered heart. They have well developed nervous system. I won't say well developed, but still. Nervous system. They have guys ventral uh, nervous system. Right? They have a ventral nervous system. Other than that, uh, uh, the excretory system. They have malfeasion tubule, excretory system, and the male and female reproductive system. Reproductive system. All these are the subtopics. Very, very, very important. I know it is there in the chapter structural organization, but uh, this we always discuss as a separate chapter. The reason is the importance of cockroach. The importance of cockroach in our day-to-day -day life is very less. But the importance of cockroach in your need examination is very high. So I want my, my, my students to excel in this. So let's start. Male cockroach and female cockroach can be differentiated by. This is the first question and the most important question. How we can differentiate male and the female cockroach? Yes. externally. Yes, they both uh, look differently. The one of the things which make a sexual dimorphism, it's a very important point of the sexual dimorphism, is the presence of the anal styles. Anal style. So what is anal style? You know, the style, for the style, for making a style, the males, the guys, they are famous for uh, uh, styles. So that is it, that's the reason it is, this is how you can remember. So females, they are born beautiful. So, <laughs> so this is an anal style. So anal style is seen in the case of male cockroach. Male cockroach, right? So suppose we have a cockroach. I'm making a <coughs> abdominal segment of a cockroach, right? Suppose this is eighth segment. This is ninth segment. And this is the last 10 segment, right? So, in the case of male, we have some thread-like structures like this, which helps in the copulation process, present only in the case of males. That is termed as anal style. Whereas, at the 10th position, this particular position, they are having
आनल सरकाई दीज आर द आनल सरकाई तो दिस इज हाउ अ कॉकरोच और यू कैन से अ मेल कॉकरोच लुक लाइक मेल कॉकरोच वेन एवर यू फाइंड अ कॉकरोच इन योर हाउस द फर्स्ट थिंग विच यू हैव टू डू इज लुक फॉर इट वेदर इट इज अ मेल और फीमेल आफ्टर दस यू कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग बट जस्ट लुक फॉर इट सो वेर आज वेन वी से दैट वी हैव अ फीमेल कॉकरोच फीमेल कॉकरोच लाइक दिस सो दे आर हैविंग ओनली दिस anal sarcai this anal sarcai not style <laughs> they do not show style this is eighth fragment this is nine and this one tell so this is how a female cockroach il cockroach yes buddies clear yes clear is it clear everyone now for this the correct option we have is bone style that is a anal style now moving on to the next we have is the targa sterna and pleura of cockroach are joined by we are saying the targa sterna and pleura of the cockroaches these are what the targa sterna and pleura these are the segments we all know that a cockroach body is segmented segmented so segments that means all the segment and they have a chitinous exoskeleton so segments are there and these segments they are covered external see it's like a box they make a box like structure like this so this is a uh, present suppose this is present on the dorsal side so this is a ventral side and this is a lateral side it's like this it's like this like this, this is a dorsal side of the cockroach this is going to be a ventral side and side we have is a lateral side clear now on the dorsal side on this side guys this particular side what is present is targa targa right this is also yeah over to this side the ventral side what do they have on ventral side the sterna clear and on the lateral side this one side uh let's make it this color lateral side both the sides we have is uh let's take uh, some so on the lateral side they have is pleura so this is how they are covered one of the very important feature is, is guys like they Uh, articulate with one another because they have this articular membrane they are able to move with each other so it's like uh, this it's like this they can easily move are you getting this point they can easily move so this is the membrane and they can easily move so this is because of the presence of what is this that is arthroidal membrane membrane right another name of this membrane is articular membrane you all know the cockroach is cockroach walks very fast so whenever he see uh, any predator he walks very fast so that is the biggest thing the movement so they help in overall stretching movement so the segments clear buddies it is clear so for this question the correct answer we have is arthroidal membrane let's move on to the question next question guys get ready now what is a true regarding the morphology of periplanata americana true regarding the first thing is you have to underline that they are asking true that means true 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 for true things we hate liars now head is formed by the fusion of 10 segments is that so is that so no not at all in the ncert itself it is written the head is made up of six segments and these six segments in the nymphal stage six segments are there but with time they fuse together and they form a single segment 
hypopharynx act as a tongue a tongue yes this is absolutely right they act as a tongue you know the mandibles are there the maxillae are there so in between tongue is present which act like uh, the tongue uh, hypopharynx is there which acts like tongue the first pair of wings arise from prothorax no not at all one of the very characteristic feature is it doesn't arise from prothorax it arises from mesothorax mesothorax now remember now i'll tell you one cheat see basically in the thorax segment thorax three segments are there clear the first one is a prothorax prothorax second one we have is mesothorax the next one we have is metathorax metathorax clear but is prothorax mesothorax and the metathorax now remember whenever we say the wing the first pair of wing they arise from mesothorax very long second pair of wing they arise from the metathorax this is a first pair or four wing four wing that is also termed as tegmen or tegmina this is hind wing which is transparent it arises from metathorax but in the ncrt it looks like that it arises from prothorax but no it arises from the mesothorax but whenever we say legs yes they do have legs also and they have a jointed legs arthropoda arthro jointed legs they have so three pair of leg all the pair of leg arise from each part of the thorax so how they are attached three pair they have a various regions they have coxa trochanter they have a tibia they have metatarsus all structures they are present so whenever we talk about the legs the first pair of leg arise from the prothorax but the first pair of wing they arise from mesothorax will you remember this all my students all chavi ma'am students will you remember this yes let's start oh, oh uh, next one oh yes you next anal sulci are not seen in the case of female why why anal sulci are not there in the case of female yes it is there in the case of female also this is wrong look at the previous diagram look at the previous diagram where is it Yes, anal sulci. See, it is present in both male and the female. So, how can you say this? So, this is also wrong. This is also wrong. This is also wrong. Correct answer we have is option B. Let's move on to the next question. The first pair of wing of cockroach arise from. This is another question. See, many times this question was asked in your. It is a PYQ previous year question. So, the first pair of wing of cockroach it always arise from. mesothorax it arises from mesothorax clear clear by bodies clear all my stars now the tegmina sternum and pleura of the cockroach they are joined by we all know that is a arthroidal membrane this now next is following see this this question was repeated many times so that means this concept is important turga sterna concept now next one we have is following are the four statements a to d choose the option which includes a correct set of statement the first we are going to do is we are going to underline this correct okay in periplaneta that means our cockroach our own favorite cockroach male bears a pair of short thread like anal style which are absent in female wow i love this line this is absolutely right the option is right in both the sexes of periplaneta 10th segments bears a pair of jointed filamentous structure that is termed as anal sulci this is also right right jointed filamentous structure yes in cockroach mesothoracic wings that is a four wings that is your tegmina are transparent membranous and are used in flight no 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 they are not transparent they are thick they are leathery and what's their function their function is not in the flight what is their function function is protection in female cockroach there is a pair of mushroom glands no they have a pair of 
कोलेट्रल ग्लैंड कोलेट्रल ग्लैंड एंड दीज कोलेट्रल ग्लैंड वट डू दे डू दे सिक्रीट ऊथिका कवरिंग अराउंड एग्स क्लियर तो दैट मीन्स टू ऑप्शन सी एन डी आर करेक्ट इन सी एन डी आर इन करेक्ट विल गो फॉर अच्छा वी मैम फेवरेट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन सी इज इट क्लियर यस क्लियर नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टेगमिना अगेन सी दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस इन मेनी टाइप्स नाउ टेगमिना इज वॉट टेगमिना इज योर फोर विंग फोर विंग राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो टर्म डेज मीजो थोरासिक विंग मीजो थोरासिक विंग्स तो फ्रॉम वेयर डू दे आराइज दे आराइज फ्रॉम द मीजो थोरेक्स ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट Let's move on to the next question. Select the correct statement from the one given below with respect to Periplaneta americana, your own cockroach. Nervous system dorsally consists of segmentally arranged ganglia joined by a pair of longitudinal collector. Oh, ventral, ventral. It's wrong. So again, guys, we have to look for a correct one. So this is incorrect. so the nervous system they have is ventral they have a solid and double double now no. male bears a pair of short thread like anal style yes looks correct now there are 16 very long malpighian tubules present at the junction of midgut and hindgut not 16 clear now grinding of fruit is carried out only by mouth part no not only by the mouth part mandible mouth in the mouth part we have is a mandible along with the mandible we have gizzard so gizzard helps in the mastication of food also and where is this gizzard present in the digest remember remember the diagram if you don't remember go and take out your ncert the male female uh, sorry the digestive system diagram has the structure gizzard which of the following feature is used to identify a male cockroach from a female cockroach yes the correct answer we have is caudal style so in case of male it is present in case of female it is absent next question is anal cerci anal cerci you know this is that structure which is present in both male and males right pair joint outgrowth found in a cockroach they arise from ninth sternum 10th tergum 9th tergum 8th tergum correct answer we have is 10th tergum they always arise from 10th tergum there are style they are present in the on the ninth segment pick the statement which is not correct incorrect one not correct that is a incorrect one we have to look for clear now in a cockroach the grinding of food particle is performed by mandibles in the gizzard yes we agree to this point i agree to this point do you agree this is absolutely right yes from the mandibles also the mastication happens in the gizzards also the mastication happens mastication is basically the grinding of food next one the malpighian tubules helps the removal of nitrogenous waste in the form of urea and ammonia so no, not in the form of urea and ammonia in the form of uric acid uric acid clear mid gut of cockroach absorb food Is this right yes it absorb food what's the function of mid gut absorption main body cavity is hemocele yes they have a body cavity that is hemocele this is filled with hemolymph filled with hemolymph i would like to show you one thing just wait i would like to show you one thing 
Now, can you see this? What is this? This is just a remote, right? So, if I will open this remote, I know uh, someone is definitely going to tell me that what do you do in classes? Yes, this is a remote. Oh my God, what is this happening? When I am trying to open this, it has a cell, it has a battery. Let's take out the battery. So, can you see this cavity? Its cavity is there, this cavity. This cavity is termed as a hemoseal. And this hemoseal, this is a, just like a box. The hemoseal. And this hemoseal is filled with fluid that is termed as hemolymph. So, the cavity is hemoseal and filled with hemolymph. Uh, so, let me uh, again <laughs> put this back because then I will not be able to switch in or switch off the AC. Uh -uh. Damn. Okay. Clear? So, this is also correct. This is also correct. This is wrong. So, we are looking for an incorrect option. In this case, the B option is incorrect. Like it? Yes. Was this question interesting? So, when we have a question like this, we have four options. So, always think that from these four options, one is correct, other are incorrect. Why they are incorrect? If you will start thinking that why they are incorrect, definitely that is going to help you a lot. Now, moving on to the next we have is, a male cockroach anal style. Style. Arise from ninth. See how many times this question was asked. Get ready, guys. Get ready. This year also you'll get free four marks. Which of the following statement is true for cockroach? True, 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 true. Or true. Number of ovary ovaries in each ovaries are ten. Okay. Dalver stage is a caterpillar. Anal styles they are absent in females. They are ureotelic. We are looking for a true statement. We are looking for true statement. Ureal, let's start from the D option. Are they ureotelic? What are they? They are uricotelic. Anal style are absent in female. Right? Absolutely right. Because we are looking for a true statement. C option, your chavi ma'am's favorite option is. The larval stages in this case, that is not called this, that is a. And this option. Wrong. It's also wrong. So let's look. Uh, this is C option is correct. Let's move on to the next question. The uric acid is the chief nitrogenous compound of the excretory product of frog, man, earthworm, cockroach. Correct answer we have is arthropods. In arthropods they excrete uric acid. Majorly they excrete when we have uh, these things. Basically they excrete. Which of the following correctly state? as it happens in the common cockroach correctly so what we are going to do is guys we are going to make a box around the correct one because we have to keep this in mind correct or incorrect palfusion tubules are the excretory organ projecting out from the colon oxygen is transported by hemoglobin in the blood nitrogenous waste product is urea food is grind by mandible and gizzard right on. think about it I will bring some water for myself. One second. Now, think about it and give me the correct answer. Think about it. Think about it. We have talked about it in many times. And guys, I hope you know the correct answer now. Okay. Now, first thing is malfeasian tubules. And they are saying the project from the colon. They do not project from colon. They project at the junction of. Of. Mid gut. And hind gut. Mid gut. And. Hind. Clear? Oxygen is transported by hemoglobin in blood. They have well developed tracheal system they have well developed tracheal system they do not have hemoglobin not have hemoglobin nitrogenous product is urea no that is uric acid now you all know the this option is hope oh, my buddies all my students did you guess it right tell me in the comment section 
tell me the comment section what's it, what is your score how many option did you find or how many question you find that these were correct or whatever you thought that is correct so give me answer in the comment section i want to look for how my students they are performing which of the following animal correctly matched to the corresponding respective organ sorry respiratory organ earthworm open circulatory system with hemoglobin earthworm annelids they have open circulatory system they have closed circulatory system closed circulatory system how can you say this how can someone say this in fact the arthropods they have open circulatory system the cockroach three pair of sparicle in the thorax what are these sparicles sparicles these are the small opening these are what these are the small opening present on the body surface and these small openings which are present on the body surface looking for the correct so now these are the small opening present on the body surface and from these sparicles the oxygen enters and then oxygen is supplied to each and every tissues the organ to all the structures of the body right so these are the openings these are termed as spiracles so what is this this is a diagram of a tri tracheal system tracheal system now these tracheal system now these trachea they remain in attached with the body tissue the body cells they are attached to the body cells then they supply oxygen from the body surface and whenever we say the spiracles the spiracles the total we have 10 spiracles how many spiracles we have 10 spiracles and out of this 10 pair of spiracles out of this the two are present two pair are present in the thorax region and rest of the eight they are present in the abdominal the pair frog in water skin and lungs someone respire with the help of lungs in but only skin is the right answer frog on land they respire through skin buccopharyngeal and lungs this is absolutely right. so that means first option is wrong second option is also wrong it should be two it should not be three and here it, there should not be lungs so that means three options they are eliminated and we have option is a correct so students uh whenever you find that this is a problem or this is a topic which you find or this is a question where you are stuck you can uh, paste that question you can write that question in comment section definitely revert now which type of mouth part are present in the cockroach leaping chewing siphoning sucking piercing chewing and biting this so again from the ncert chewing biting and the chewing type is the correct one clear biting and the chewing so they keep on biting they keep on chewing you know they are uh, nocturnal they are active at night whenever you try to go in kitchen during the night hours you'll find only cockroaches and some food item which you have left during the dinner they just feed on it and they are omnivores they eat everything whatever you leave there they are going to eat everything they are mostly found in the kitchen your drainage now let's move on to the next question targa sterna plural this is again see again this question was asked arthrodial membrane now the body cells in the cockroach discharge their nitrogenous waste the hemolymph in the form of now suppose these are the body cells these are the body cells body cells now these body cells they release some chemicals Let, that means they will be having some nitrogenous waste so they take out this nitrogenous waste and they take out in the form of potassium urate one of the very 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 important question potassium urate now 
this potassium urate is taken up by the malphigian tip which are present at the junction of midgut and hindgut these are the malphigian tip malphigian they will be taken up by the malphigian tubules in the malphigian tubules two things happen the first thing is the secretion with the secretion of some enzyme potassium urate potassium urate is converted into uric acid plus potassium carbonate potassium carbonate and this potassium carbonate this is again taken up by the malphigian tubule and this will reach up to the body tissue this is the first function that is the secretion guys first function that is a secretion what about the second function the second function is the absorption the second is the absorption that is the potassium carbonate potassium carbonate will be absorbed will be absorbed by body tissues body tissue third important function is excretion that is it will remove uric acid and it will send this uric acid to the hind gut three functions guys three functions excretion absorption and secretion clear 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 so if the question comes how uh, what is a nitrogenous waste of a cockroach correct answer is uric acid if a co question is that uh, uh, in which form the body eliminate that is a potassium uric a young one of cockroach is called see whenever we are very young our uh, some nicknames like chintu like pintu similarly cockroaches they also have a nickname that is a name correct answer we have is a name so sorry for the bad joke guys cockroach of heart is so their favorite number is 13 so their heart is 13 the 13 chamber heart they have is how cockroach present so oh, we have heart like this these are the chambers the the teen chambers uh, how many have drawn six uh, three seven eight, nine ten eleven twelve clear now how does blood flows blood enters enters from here it enters from enters from enters and it travels like the how it travels from posterior to anterior side clear and this heart is present in a chamber that is termed as pericardial cavity pericardial cavity now here diaphragm is present this is a upper diaphragm this is lower diaphragm is present right here digestive system is present that is the reason this is termed as a periviscral cavity 
peri visceral cavity now here the nervous system is present so they have a ventral solid double nervous system right and the cavity in which it is present is perineural cavity perineural cavity they make uh, ganglions various ganglions they make <sighs> total nine they form this is how they look like clear isn't this cockroach this is how it look like so liked it like your cockroach now you'll start liking your cockroach because their heart is bigger than your heart you have only four chambers they have three let's move on to the next question the excretion in cockroach is taken by is done by the malphigian tubule no uh, exception to this now moving on to the next ometidia serve the purpose of photo reception that is a reception that is in the case of cockroach in the case of cockroach guys the compound eyes are present compound eyes a pair of compound eyes a pair of compound eyes are there right they are made up of small ometidia small ometidias are there and they are responsible for mosaic vision mosaic right they make overlapping images and mosaic uh, uh, vision they have because each and every ometidia they create a, a particular vision and those visions they are sent to the brain brain interpret it and form a image clear yeah. this is high sensitive uh, image they form and less resolution so there another important question they make image which are of high resolution sorry high uh, sensitivity high sensitivity and low resolution yes clear very important high sensitivity and low resolution this was also asked in one of the paper i don't remember when it it was asked so always remember cockroach oxygen is transported by so i have discussed many time plasma histamine trachea or hemoglobin they are transported by the trachea they have a well developed tracheolar system they have a well developed tracheolar system here it opens to the outside with the help of spiracles then it enters uh, oxygen enters into the trachea see i'll make a diagram of it these are the spiracles these are the spiracles present on the body side sides basically on the sides they are present this is how the the spiracles look like or oh, sorry the tracheal system look like. this is termed as an atrium here we have a pincher helps in opening and close of the spiracle have is the tracheoles and these tracheoles they are in contact with the body cells so they are in contact with the body cells body cells they are present like this they supply oxygen to the body cell clear that these are the body cells pincher basically helps in opening and closing trachea it enters into the tracheoles and like this the whole tracheolar system the tracheal system look clear the so correct answer we have is the trachea arthrom and the cockroach have which of the following things in common what do they have what's the thing which they have in common now the correct answer we have is c first let's talk about the nephridia nephridia is present where 
Nephridia is present in annelids, basically uh, your uh, earthworm is present in the earthworm. Yeah, whereas and nephridia is of what is the function of nephridia? The function of nephridia is to excretion. Now, whereas in the cockroach, what do we have? Uh, sorry, what does cockroach? Uh, we no. What does cockroach have? The cockroach they uh, basically have uh, malfeasant tubule for the excretion. Ventral nerve cord, yes, both of them they have a ventral nerve cord. Closed blood circulatory system. Listen, the earthworm they have closed blood circulatory system. But when we say the cockroach, cockroach they have closed uh, open blood circulatory. Clear? Cocoon? Okay. Let's move on to the cocoon is found in earth uh, arms only. The genus Blata is also known as. Blata is your oriental cockroach. The Blata orientalis. That is your oriental cockroach. Clear? Blata. Now, in cockroach, the Uthika is formed by the secretion of collateral glands. Yes, a pair of collateral glands. So female cockroaches, they have a pair of collateral glands which secrete the uthika. Uthika. They are directly from your NCRT. Now, in the nymphal stage, the cockroach, the juvenile hormone is secreted by corpora cardiaca, a prothoracic gland, intercerebral gland cells or the corpora elata. For this, the correct answer we have is Corpora elata, which is present at the back of brain. Backside of brain. See, when we have is nymphal stage. So, nymphal undergo 13 molds and it forms the adult. Before each and every mold, the corpora elata secretes a hormone. No, termed as your uh, uh, juvenile hormone, right? And that is ecdysone. It's secreted ecdysone and which helps in the molting process. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, with this, we have completed all the questions from the topic cockroaches. So, hope everyone liked it. Uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. I want what is your score in the comment section. Do comment and definitely I want to see how my students they are proceeding. So let's wind up the session over here. We are going to next. I'll bring another chapter which is digestion and absorption before watching that session. Or uh, sorry, animal kingdom first of all I'll bring. Animal kingdom you have to tell me. Uh, first of all you have to go through your NCRT. NCRT is enough for the animal kingdom. Go through it and whenever you find any problem, you can uh, comment the comment section. Children, take care. Keep studying. Keep yourself safe. It is time. Bye-bye, everyone.